For many businesses, this is the busiest time of year. It usually brings a rush they can rely on. But in 2020's economy, nothing is a guarantee. And here in Oakland, a business and an industry hit hard by this pandemic is proving to stay open, it will do whatever it takes. You might have forgotten what it felt like to be in a room like this. There was a connection. You came for the kind of feeling like you were a part of something. An energy that this pandemic has turned into emptiness inside Oakland's new Parkway Theater. We already, as a independent movie theater, we pride ourselves in having some of the lowest ticket prices around town. Uh, and also at the same time, paying our employees the most out of a living wage and more than any other movie theater around. So just by that already, like our margins are really, really narrow. Carlos Cortade is familiar with the script that's been written for theaters like his in 2020. Hundreds have closed. Many will never show films again. Was there ever a point that you worried that this theater would have to close for good? Absolutely, yeah, I think so. But this place is unique. That's easy to see. And right now, being different is invaluable for a business. Unlike a lot of movie theaters around, like we had the benefit of having a full-size kitchen. Call it a plot twist that's keeping the lights on at a movie theater that hasn't shown a movie in nine months. New Parkway staff prepare and package food they typically would serve in their theater, but now sell it to customers who order online. For the most part, uh, it's been enabling us to keep our heads above water. The food helps pay the rent at a time when this movieless theater is missing around $180,000 a month in revenue. But when you look around Oakland, like many cities, you can see why just being open is a win. I don't think anybody really even knows how deep the effect is gonna be long term. As coronavirus, social distancing, and isolation threaten movie theaters today, the threat of tomorrow for this industry, beyond this pandemic, if you ask Marcus Osborne, is whether customers will ever fully come back. How are we gonna continue to make movie theaters and other forms of entertainment important to people if they found a way to live without it for the last almost two years going by the time we get through 2021. I've heard a lot of people saying that they're not going to come back to the theater, you know, you know, even post pandemic. The new Parkway says it won't fully reopen until there's a vaccine readily available. It's hard to predict the ending to this pandemic, but like a movie, you can find a moral in the story of businesses like this one, finding a way through it, no matter what. Sometimes you just gotta think outside the box. Something that might not be obvious or clear right away uh, shouldn't prevent you from looking at things in a different point of view.